Hey, what is going on YouTube? It's ZK here. As you can see, I'm currently with some really great friends in Kern's Tower. And we were having some problems with the recording last time. And uh, so this, you know, this isn't a test video, but we're making sure our stuff is working. And, uh, but yeah, if you guys want to introduce yourself, that'd be cool. Uh, yeah, guys, I am AC. I'm playing my character Zorns. And as, uh, you know, um... As uh, you know, Whirling Fist just mentioned, we did have some issues with the recording, mainly on my end, and I do apologize for that. And we've been kind enough uh, to go ahead and uh, you know go ahead and make another episode here and see if we can get this working. It seems like it's working fine now. I just kind of had to restart EverQuest, which ended up crashing on me anyway. So I don't know what that issue was, but if you guys ever get any lag and you start running into issues where you can barely move, you might want to go ahead and log out and log back in. That might fix it for you, just like it fixed it for me. But, uh, yeah, I just want to say, uh, you know, thanks for coming out and uh, joining us on another episode here in uh, Kern's Tower. Go ahead. Go ahead, Dutraka, if you want to say anything. Oh, and I'm Dutraka. I'm playing Shalara, the shaman. <laughs> that never gets old, man. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but, yeah, I mean, um, we were talking about guilds before, and uh, there's, you know, there's so many on the server. Some have come, come and gone. Some are still here. What are some of the ones that uh, you remember used to be really big back in the day that kind of are completely gone or maybe uh, for or lesser than their former selves used to be, you know? Divinity is it, Divinity is the oldest guild on the server, and they're still around. But none of the, the big ones that you can think of that uh, might have been here for a while, made some splashes, made some waves, and, and then kind of died off pretty quickly. Because I remember As that on my As servers. Asgard is old. They're still around, too. And they're, okay. they're, they're they're up top, so you know there's some that are still around that are really old and they do a lot, you know, they do what they can and stuff. So you know, it just you guys pick whatever you guys want to join, and I'll still support you guys, you know, and I'll see you guys. Like me and level one undercon were fighting for several us. Our guilds were fighting for several us the other day with anonymous, and uh, it was the first. What we use is we all the guilds use mages for that fight, and you cough whoever is racing to the dragon. And me and level one undercon had fun racing each other. It was fun. I mean, I couldn't tell you the tells afterwards. Like, well, dude, that was that was insane pulls and stuff like that. I was telling him, and it was just I, I never really experienced that with another YouTuber before, so it was it meant the world to me, you know. Yeah, so it's that's like, pretty sweet. Know who's gonna win first, and and if you never checked out Level One Anacon's videos, I suggest you go do it because he is an amazing YouTuber. He's one of my idols. Uh, he's what got me into this, and so is Dalen Seventy Five Game, Super Bits, and Bob. Check them out as well. Um, they're yeah. all fantastic YouTubers, and AC Gamer is a good YouTuber as well. I don't know about that, but I definitely yeah. agree with the fact that uh, Super Bits and Bob, Dalen Seventy Five, and uh, Level One Undercon are just. Uh, really good YouTubers to watch if you like EverQuest. They do some ter terrific videos that I myself got into watching. Um, actually, all of theirs. I've seen pretty much I'm, all of their episodes. Same here. So, yeah. Same here, man. I'm going to butt in here, and ZK, you shouldn't lie to the viewers. I'm not lying. What am I lying about? I don't know, but your lips are moving. <laughs> <laughs> but that's cool, man. That's, uh, that's pretty nice that you got to hang out with them. I've really only ever talked to a few of them uh you know off the game uh, about certain things that go on on like youtube and stuff like that and i want to get into pacifics but uh it's i've never really touched base with them in the game i kind of don't really want to disturb them they might be recording a movie or a video or whatever it is and uh you know i know they kind of um they like hearing from their viewers and they, they will point that out when they do so i probably shouldn't be that worried about it because i definitely enjoy it when people make contact with me, and I'm sure they do as well. Yeah, so, they so definitely do. Because, oh. they, they definitely do, man, because when I first started recording, I wasn't very good, and, I, and I'm still getting better. I'm still not very good, but... Um, I think you're good, man. I, I watch your stuff. But anyway, uh, I was talking to... I saw Super Bits and Bob online. Like, he was literally on my friends list, and he wasn't recording at the time. I was asking him if he was recording, and, and then he wasn't, and so he gave me some helpful tips on how to become a, a very good YouTuber and stuff like that and what I should do. And then I was talking to Dale on 75 Games and Level 1 Undercon and all about how, how to become a good YouTuber. And it all really helped me, and, 
you know, I'm just getting better every day. And Yeah, I agree, man. I mean, it, it's something that I'm constantly learning as we go through this as well. So I don't think anybody starts off knowing everything they need to know about doing videos and the sound and, uh, you know, just getting everything done right that you absolutely have to get uh, to and, make a, a decent video. So. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And to point out that so sometimes you have to ask for advice and, you know, you don't know where to t turn to except for the, you know, the big guys that are, have been doing this for stuff for years. So, you know. Yeah, I agree. I mean, you know, if you can touch base with uh, the people you watch and, and talk to them, ideally that would be the best way to go because you already like their stuff. You know that's the style that you want to do. Exactly. And you, you can kind of pick their brain a little bit. So that's really cool that, you know, they took the time and, and actually replied back to you and helped you out with that. Uh, it just makes uh, my opinion of them go even higher than it already was, which was pretty high because I like their stuff. I watch their videos, which, you know, we uh, pretty much everybody here actually has seen their stuff. I don't know. What about you, Dark Dragon? Do you watch uh, their videos? Who? Uh, Super Bits and Bob, Dellen75, and uh, Level 1 Undercon. Mm. I haven't heard of them until you guys mentioned them. Oh, wow. You, you definitely you, you should, should check it out. Yeah, yeah, you definitely should check them out, man. Man, I already got 20 people's videos I watch every day. I don't be bored. Yeah, it can add up pretty quickly. And I know there for a while I was actually missing out on some of Super Bits and Bob's ones when he was doing some of his new games because I just, between actually making videos and then... Uh, you know, uploading them and doing a full-time job and then all that other stuff. I just didn't have any time to watch them. But thankfully, every so often, I get a little bit of time to myself. The The computer's doing something that I can't record because it's doing something else. And I'm able to sit down and binge watch a few episodes. And I actually like doing that more than watching them as they come out. I, I'm just one of those binge watchers. I like doing right. that with any TV show or YouTube videos, or whatever the case may be, just setting aside four or five hours to just kick back and relax and just catch up on all my movies. Exactly, exactly man. Me too, man. I'm the same way. You know, recently, Super Bits of Bob put out uh, World of Warcraft videos, and I think the, on the Staria server, uh, I actually made a hum level one human. I actually don't really play on that server, but I started a character. But some, some person took the name ZK, so I had to just pick a random name generator. Oh, yeah? And what'd you come up with? It was nothing cool. It's just something something dumb. So, you know, I... For some I, reason, nobody ever takes the names I use. Yeah, well, I was... <laughs> you pick some weird ones. You pick some uh, unusual ones, I should say. Maybe not weird, but... The, the very first time I got into this game... I tried, uh, you know, we, we didn't really have nicknames back then. It's not like it is nowadays where pretty much anybody who grows up in this day and era will have a call sign of some sort. You know, you play Halo, you play a video game, you're going to have a nickname. Uh, if you use a computer, you're going to have, uh, you know, screen names and different account names for your emails. Didn't really have that when I was growing up. So I never really had a nickname like that until this game started. And I tried uh, several common ones, like my real name and stuff like that. And it was like, no, not that. You can't use that. i try something else. Eventually, I did exactly what you did, which is just uh, a random generated name. And it came back with uh, something that's like villain or villainesses or something. And I just backspaced the last few uh, letters because for some reason, and you'll see this in new games that come out, the random generated name usually already taken. I don't know why it's giving me a name that doesn't work. But uh, it does that quite a bit. And so the name it gave me uh, for like five, six in a row were all taken. And it would not let me accept those. So I ended up just backspacing a few letters and came up with my uh, V-I-L-A, which uh, depending on how you want to pronounce that is, uh, you know, Vila or, you know, like Bob Vila. Um, I was just about to say that. You're Bob Vila. Yeah, kind of like that. Uh, or later on, I changed it to uh, Villas with two L's, kind of like, uh, you know, a house. You know, it's a Villa. So uh, I, I kind of stuck with that, and that was my name on pretty much every MMO that I played since then. And it's only recently that I've kind of gotten away from that name. Uh, what about you guys? Did you have a name that you kind of stuck with quite a bit? People I, might I, recognize you from. I've always stuck with the name ZK on everything I've played, except for Xbox. You know, I somebody took that name, so I had to come up with a different one. Right. What about you? Uh, Everybody has a nickname throughout their life, even as a child. No, like, I never uh, really had... Haas, I guess, is, is the nickname I had when I played football. 
you know, because I was a like, big guy, I was a big lineman. Well, like my nephew, um, all through his childhood, we would all call him Monkey Butt. No, everybody I has a nickname. Didn't have anything like that, which is weird because I have a lot of brothers. You think we would? Although I gave my brothers plenty of nicknames. I guess I was the one who usually picked hey, on hey, other hey, people. No unfortunately, vulgarity at that on, time. No vulgarity on the videos. Oh no, no, no! We never, uh, we never really used language language like that when I was younger. Parents a little strict on that. You, you could do a lot of things. You, you could do a lot of things and get away with it. Language really wasn't one of them. That How's one, Manna? that one, you were not gonna get away with. How's Manna? Full. Okay. As long as you keep the singles coming, we can chain them. Ah, oh, jeez, my men failed again. This mid is ridiculous sometimes. But I guess, you know, I actually get more life in the end than I actually lose. I shouldn't complain too much on that one. But uh, you were talking about guilds. Now, what guilds have you joined yourself? Were there some that you started with, that then you progressed a little bit further in and then a little further in and kind of upgraded? I guess I shouldn't say upgraded, but just changed from one play style to the next. I, jo I joined uh, the first guild I was ever in on this server. I was uh, in Ill-Tempered Sea Bass, and then I joined... The Blackheart Pirates, and then I joined Forsaken. So you know, I've been ar I've been around on the server quite a bit, and I've seen a lot of guilds come and go. But now, some some of these are still around, you know. So now the Sea Bass, tell us a little bit about that one. What kind of guild was it? It it's a casual raiding style. They they raid stuff like Kale Arena, and and they and they actually work with the Blackheart Pirates and stuff. So they're an alliance together. Oh, well, that's and, cool. Do they have a lot of people? I mean, what what's their yeah, numbers like? Uh, At least when you were joining. Uh, it's about the same between uh, Black Heart Pirates and Sea Bass. It's about I don't know. It, it it varies depending on the the hour of the day and time of the raid. So you know I really can't say for sure because a lot of things have changed. You know a lot of people have left and a lot of people have stayed. So no, no, I'm just saying like when you joined, uh, what were the numbers like then? I mean, yeah, oh, over the oh. years things will change, but oh yeah, oh when I joined twenty, it was twenty. You know, just twenty raid, uh, twenty people taking out one mob and stuff like that that's you know it's better than nothing you know i mean we yeah, were all yeah. together and getting armor when the latest, uh was on the way and stuff so well that's kind of cool i mean yeah it definitely uh, it sounds like a pretty good guild that you uh, had fun in right i mean it was a tight-knit yeah. group oh yeah and then what the, made the, you what made you finally uh decide to leave that guild and go with or did you leave that guild and maybe go by yourself for a little while before you joined yeah i, I was ungilded for a while i uh I left on my own terms, just because you know I was, I uh, there wasn't very many people logging on and stuff, so I, I I decided to leave and find my own thing for a while. And I ended up in the pirates, and it was great. It was a great guild and great family. Yeah. And then I ended up in Forsaken. So I hate leaving guilds. Yeah, so do I. Especially since in this game, it, it lets the guild know I think that you're leaving. Right? That's. Yeah, I you oh, know yeah. I I I don't go out on bad terms. I I I try to go go about as you know as best as I can and tell them, hey, look, things aren't changing or, you know, the numbers are really low and stuff like that. And what can we do to improve? If nothing has changed, then you know some people end up leaving, some people end up going. So it's just just a matter of way this game works. Yeah, and I think as long as you're yeah. open with the guild and let them know exactly what's going on in a respectful way. Uh, they, they usually don't have a problem with it. Now, if you try to do one of these things where you, you know, uh, get rid of your guild in the middle of the night when nobody's looking and nobody's on, uh, they might have a problem with that one because you didn't even let them know. I mean, come on. Yeah, yeah. Just give them the common courtesy well, of being like, I'm not that, happy here. Depends. I want to move if on that, or whatever. If that's your normal play time, then you're not being underhanded by doing it. You are if you're doing it because you don't want to be confronted. Like, I mean, even if that's your normal play time, you can you can let somebody know. You can be like, "Hey, can you let the let guild her. officer know? Can well, I talk yeah. to somebody? Can I can I go on the forums and write something down?" Uh, you I don't was, have to, you know, do a whole full page on it, but just letting them know that, "Hey, I'm just, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and head out. No hard feelings. It's just not for me." I was yeah. in a guild on live um, that, but the leadership changed in the guild. So instead of them playing at West Coast America time, they started playing in Australian time. Right. And if you let them and, know that and be like, this is what happened, uh, they definitely will be understanding well, for the most part and be like, yeah, well, we get that. Now, speaking of... It. And, now, and 
well, they, they knew that it was a problem for me and quite a few other people in the guild. But then as time went by and people were like, you know, hey, can you guys do like, you know, at least once a month, do a couple hours earlier that way people in america can actually join and they were just like well we're an australian guild now and right and, just, and that's perfectly fine at all now, so now keep, i just kind of slipped out now keep this in mind now keep this in mind for all those that are new to p99 there are euro guilds like you know not just american guilds there are guilds that are have european time there's europa there's omni there's a uh, azure guard you know just just there's there's a lot of a lot of population and a lot of different time zones on this guild or I mean uh, on this game and uh, so y whatever suits you best you go for it and don't let anybody tell you anything otherwise just you know yeah and of course like uh, Dark Dragon said the guild may change over time and you may have started out with these people it may be a great guild but for whatever reason it just no longer suits your needs you know again just be open be honest with the guild. Most of the time, I've never really seen one get too upset and be like, no, 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 we put this time and oh. effort into you. Maybe if you're the main tank of well, the raid and they put a lot of effort into equipping you, then you might get a lot of flack for leaving that, that quickly. But other than that, they're really not going to blame you because you're in a different time zone. You know, like they're going to understand was, that. That was the end of the story of what I was telling you is about me and 12 other people left the guild because of that, you know, guild time change everybody else in the guild started trolling all of us they would See, I mean, train us they would sit there and bad mouth us when we're looking for groups so people wouldn't you know group with us and everything ended up me and three of my buddies changed servers because of it yeah i mean i guess you might find somebody or a guild that will do stuff like that but in my experience uh, most guilds will not do that they don't want to have a bad reputation for bad mouthing people and they understand that people have different needs and needs change and unless you're in like a a top rating guild that wants you in there for a certain amount of time before you can leave and you're trying to leave early i don't really see them having too big of an issue with it i've never seen it no but they, it's possible they, they don't have guilds like that on this server you know like you gotta stay in a guild so long that they don't they where you're not yeah, forced I, to leave I, they don't have guilds like that on this on I this would game. laugh if somebody said that. I'd be like, dude, it's a game. Well, they can't keep you in the guild. You can leave anytime you want. You have that option to be able to leave. But... Oh, I know. I'm, I'm, I'm just saying there's yeah. no guilds on this server aren't like that at all. But I've seen it on other games, especially this one back in the day. You get into, like, the, the top number one rating guild, and one of the you know requirements is you're going to give them, like, six months to play, and you're going to be on at least, you know, 75% yeah. of the raids and, you know, whatever the case may be. Uh, the reason they're doing that is because the last thing they want to do is find a spot for you in a raid, which, you know, in, like, EverQuest 2, you can only have so many people on in a raid. I think it's, like, 24. In this one, I think you can have as many as you want, right? Yep. Yeah, um, there's yeah. no... There's th yeah, you can have as many as you want. There's no... Um, I thought it was 36 cap. Nope. No, no, I think it's just... Because you, you just form groups. Like, the groups aren't really connected to each other. You're not actually in a raid. Yeah, You're you just can't... part of it. Yeah, there, you can have as many people as you want. Yeah, and so you can but have yeah, several guilds go together. I can together. understand if, if you're going to help somebody level if they're not done leveling and getting them gear so they're raid capable and everything and then getting them a slot in the raid and then they just up and leave. I can understand somebody wanting, you know, a courtesy of, hey, at least stay in this long. But to say, you know, I, I've had this comment about raids being like, you got to be on at this time, this day, and raid every time and well, those are those are hardcore raiders, is what I'm talking about. Hardcore guilds, yeah. and they're gonna they're gonna require a lot more out of you than say your casual ones. But again, you don't have to go with those if you're a casual player. If you want to have something like uh, Blackheart Pirates, I can speak from experience on that one. Um, they are very casual, but they do still raid occasionally. And yeah. So, I love, I yeah. love raiding, but I cannot stand dictating my real life for a game. No way. Well, they're not really dictated. See, I, I'm fine with it because I was part of a hardcore raiding guild back in the day, and I would be fine with Same doing here. it again, except uh, I would just need to make sure that it lined up with my schedule before I got into it. So we do our videos on Mondays and Thursdays. If our raids lined up with that and it was a Monday and Thursday raid, 
I, you know, I'd be there for each and every one of them just because I like going on raids. I like uh, the challenge. I like showing that off to you guys, and eventually I want to be able to actually do that. Right. But, um, yeah, but. I can understand how some people don't like doing that, don't like having to be forced to be on even if you're sick right. and, uh, you know, people come into what, town. And there's usually a little bit of leeway, though. What See, if the you're thing, at the guild and then the guild leader decides, I want to do the raids four hours earlier? Then that would be fine. Then I'd be like, unfortunately, I can't make it to the raids the thing, anymore, and I could leave the guild if that's a, a problem. But the thing is, with this, with this, and I don't mean to interrupt you guys again, but uh, the thing is, with this server and this and P ninety nine, is you can't really tell when a dragon's gonna spawn. You know, they have a sixteen hour window, and you 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 camp buffs and stuff like that, and they could spawn within the thirty minutes of that window, or they could go the full sixteen hours. But you know. People well, will ask. People will sit on guild rangers and and other stuff like that, and they'll ask for reps and stuff, eventually. And uh, yeah, I mean, you can't plan those, but you can plan plan of fear and plan of uh, air and plan of hate. I mean, yeah. those those are places you will go with raids, and uh, you know, clear those zones. Hey, and get some really good you guys loot gonna out help of it. you with this, or does your healer gotta tank the whole thing? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well. I understand what you're saying, AC. I'm just saying, I was just pointing out that you, you know, there are certain things like in, in Temple of Ishin, you can't, you can't predict when they're going to spawn and you can't, right. you know. Yeah. Yeah, and I, I definitely understand that. But for me, I'm, I'm more at this point, anyways, thinking about the smaller raids, the stuff that I was accustomed to raiding back in the day. Again, I wasn't really big into Velius. Velius, when it came out, I think I spent, uh, I don't know, maybe a month, month and a half on the game, and then I pretty much stopped playing for oh, a little I while. Love... I didn't come back into it until uh, a little bit before Planes of Power, you know, Lost Dungeons and Norath. I played really extensively. and I didn't really go to Lucklin either. That wasn't uh, an expansion that I cared for or really liked that much. But, uh, yeah, so when I think of old old raids, uh, the, the ones I went on and did some really good stuff with, it's the, it's the Planes. Like, the Planes is where I really cut my teeth and uh, got to just do so much enjoyment out of all that stuff and I can't wait to do it again. Yeah, you keep saying that the planes were bad. No, no, no. I didn't like planes of power. I like the planes of fear, plane of hate, plane of air, those kind of planes. All I didn't they like did planes is of power. expand on the planes. No, because the plane of power just basically dramatically and uh, in my opinion very, very badly altered the game and so many ways. I, I can't even get into all the ways that it did it. I mean, I could, but we'd be here for like four hours just going down the list of all the stuff I didn't like in that expansion. Uh, oh, man, this monk DPS is insane. It really is. I know, and when we have three or four monks, these things die just hands down within a matter of seconds. Oh, and now you're seeing why we can actually have a shaman as a healer, because mobs come in and they drop. There's yeah. not really much healing to do. And once All we get, I gotta do is throw a slow. And once we get feign death, it's gonna be so much better. We're gonna be able to kill these things uh, and split the aggro back and forth just by feigning in the middle of the fight. I've actually seen monks do that. Except know. one of except when feign death fails. Yeah, but I mean, you can just get right back up and use it again. Like the skill, I, from what I've heard, comes back so quick. Uh, it's not like the uh, the shadow knight spell. You cast it, and then you'll lay there on the floor for like five, six seconds. Waiting for the uh, the delay of the spell to, to uh, come back and you can use it again. Um, no, not for a monk. Yeah, monks is almost instant. So that's kind of cool. I'm looking forward to trying it out and seeing exactly how that works. Is this guy hitting me? I think he is. Yeah. I don't know why they're still going after me. I guess you're right. It must be that bow stick. Yeah, yeah. I, I have two of them. I, too soon. I have two of them, man. On your character right now? No, on my mule. I got to transfer them over with the FPSS as well. Oh, Crap, you're going to use the FPSS and two of those. Yeah. Jeez, man. Your guy is going to be seriously overpowered. That's going to be nice. I cannot wait yeah. to see it. Next time, <laughs> you better have that because oh, I'm will. sick of healing Zorns all the time. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, if you want, man, I'll go ahead and trade you this weapon. I'll use my two-hander, and then uh, you can just give it back at the end of the night or whatever. No, nah, man, I don't want to take your stuff. Just just keep it, man. You sure? Because I got the two-handed woo stick. Yeah, no, he means the, he means just use it for now, so you can maintain aggro. Yeah, yeah, because you you do a lot better with it. So let me sure. Because I just went from full mana, and now I'm down below ten percent. Yeah, I use my two hander. This is the first time I got to use it anyway, so I'm kind of psyched, psyched to see how this works for me. 
All right, I'm gonna look, go ahead and let Shalara met up for a minute, and I think I'm gonna go ahead and pause the video while we do that. Well, we can actually go ahead and end it here. I mean, this is about time, anyways. Okay. Um, if you guys, but yeah, I just wanted to point out um, before we go that you know, monk is I. You know, I didn't think I would be really good at the monk class, but so far I'm enjoying it. I I haven't got fain death quite yet, so I'm still figuring stuff out. You know, I didn't. I never really played a monk. I only played a shaman, so everything's really new to me. So same here, man. I'm I'm in the boat with I, you. I personally recommend if you're gonna play any kind of role playing game, play every class and not just like for the first ten levels. Play it all the way to the end. It'll give you a deeper understanding of the interaction between the classes. And by the time you hit the max level, you'll understand which class you like best and what fits you the most. This is a hard. This is a very hard game to play every class, but yeah, yeah, I definitely would try at least all the way to level fifteen on a few of them until you find out where you need to be. Well, at least thirty. Fifteen is too soon. Thirty is a long way off in this game. That's going to be a couple months for each that, character. Nah. If you're a casual, us because we only play a couple days a week. That's what I'm saying. If you're casual, that's that's way too long. You'll be able to tell a lot sooner than that. But uh, yeah, that's a whole other topic for another video, guys. And until next time. Um, ZK out after we kill these. <laughs> All right, we'll go ahead and kill these guys oh. off real quick. I want to see how well this uh, weapon works if I steal the aggro from you or not. I doubt I will because that weapon just seems to. Uh... Oh, did I actually steal some of it? Oh, maybe it's because oh, I was attacking the wrong one. I... Eh, no, there he is. Okay, I was going to say. The, nope, it's the weapon. It's the weapon. Yeah. I, it's That weapon is just crazily fast, man. Once I get that FBSS, man, it's going to be crazy. Yeah, I need to get another one, I guess, if it does that much damage all by itself. I, I can't wait to see what happens when we have four monks sitting there beating on it with all woo sticks. Oh, like, man, it, it's, stuff, it's, stuff is going to die. It's going to be like a, a Klingon ritual or something, you know, with like the, the pain sticks, and they're just walking down the center and just getting massively beaten to death. It's, it's uh, the wrong game, but still very cool, right? I mean, you know, Star Trek, I'm all into it. We are doing a Let's Play of that one as well, which is uh, pretty cool, Star Trek Online. Uh, definitely, if you like games like this, you might like that one as well. Yeah, spec. <laughs> hey, my mend actually worked. That's awesome. <laughs> I still love that you call them spec. It's just All right, all right guys, I think we're going to go ahead and end it here. And if you like these videos, definitely hit that like button, comment, subscribe. Uh, it definitely helps grow our channel, and we greatly appreciate it. And until next time, ZK out. Subscribe.